Hi everyone, my name is Jensen Harris and I'm Director of Program Management for the Windows User Experience Team. This is the first video in a series of uh, videos we're going to be posting on our blog in the coming months that showcase cool stuff we've been working on for what we're codenaming Windows 8. We're here in our design room, which is uh, one of the rooms where we have a lot of uh, interesting discussions about the UI. If you look over here, you can see some of the stuff we have posted up on the wall uh, to inspire us. Sometimes we put designs we're working on on the wall. Now, we've been pretty quiet. There's a good reason for that. As you can imagine, the team has had many ideas. Uh, many of them were good. Not all of them were. And so we wanted to, to wait and really try to figure out what was going to make its way into the product. The first thing that you're going to see when you start a Windows 8 uh, PC is the start screen. The start screen is this personal mosaic of tiles. Every app on your system is represented by a tile. Now tiles are better than icons for a couple of reasons. They have a little more space for the app to show its personality. Like the weather app can just show you the temperature without you having to open it. We introduced a new platform based on standard web technologies, so HTML5 and JavaScript, and it allows the millions of developers who know how to use those technologies to create a new kind of app for Windows 8. These apps are full screen, they're beautiful, uh, they are designed for touch, but of course they work great with, uh, with mouse and keyboard as well, if that's what you have. We wanted to make it really fast and fluid to get between your running apps. You just take your thumb or your finger from the side and just swipe it in. As I do that, I run back through my list of, of running applications. One of the great things about a PC is that you can do two things at once. We created a feature called Snap. I swipe in my thumb from the side of the screen, but now instead of moving it all the way into the center, I'm going to pause for a second. You can snap it into place over here next to your main app. I can choose uh, to change which app is big and which one is small. So with just one simple gesture, you can snap one app next to another app. Now a huge part of what you do on a PC today is web browser. Internet Explorer 10 has a touch-first UI for panning the page very fluidly with the finger, for switching tabs. Here you can see the, the touch keyboard. One of the things that we realized, though, when we were using it, was that typing requires you to reach all the way into the middle of the screen. And so we designed this thumbs layout, which is sort of more ergonomic, and it feels really natural to use. Windows 8 also runs the existing Windows apps that you use and that you love. And they're just as easy to switch to, and you can use them alongside your new Windows 8 apps. Because it's a PC, it has a file system. And that file system has your photos, it has your documents, it has your videos, it has your music. And you can get to these things, not just from your existing Windows programs, but from these new Windows 8 apps. Uh, they can get to them just as seamlessly as you've always expected in Windows. You can also get to files and photos that you have on other connected Windows PCs on your local network. And we know that you don't just have your stuff on the local PC, you also have services that you care about. From Windows 8 apps, you can also pick files not just from the file system, but also from any other app installed on the system. We made it easy to get photos from one app to another app. This is the new version of Windows. Uh, it's going to run on laptops, it's going to run on desktops, it's going to run on PCs with mouse and keyboard, it's going to run on touch slates, it's going to run on everything hundreds of millions of Windows PCs powered by this new interface and new platform. This has just been a small taste of uh, what we're going to be showing over the next year, and we are so happy to finally be able to share it with you.